All right, so in this tutorial, I'll walk you to how to install Selenium with Chrome driver for Python development. So for this video, I'll show you uh, three things. I'll show you how to download the Chrome driver, how to install Selenium Python package. I'll also cover an example on how to automate Chrome browser using Python and Selenium package. Now let's download the Chrome driver first. And here we have the link. Now let me click on the link. And it's going to be the web page that you'll be seeing on the uh, Chrome drivers uh, downloads page. I'm going to launch my Chrome browser. If you want to find out what's your current Chrome browser version, you can click on uh, this icon right here. Then go to help. Then click on about Google Chrome. And I'll tell you the current Chrome version that you're using. And I'm using version 99.0. And that means that I need to download Chrome version 99. So I'm going to click on this link. And since I'm using Windows, and there's only one file for uh, Windows operation, which is this win32.zip file. And I'm going to download the file to my uh, project folder. Then I'm going to unzip the file. All right, so if I go into uh, Chrome driver Win32 folder, and here's my Chrome driver. So we have completed the first item. Now I'm going to install Selenium's Python package. And let me open my terminal window. So to install Selenium's Python package, we want to use the command pep install Selenium. And I'll install Selenium's Python package. For the last item, I'm going to show you how to automate your Chrome browser by doing a, a simple search on pythons.org website. All right, so uh, let's do this. I'm going to put my VS code and the website side by side. And here's the uh, search field. So from the import statement, here let me increase the font size. So from the import statement, I'm going to import driver's library first. I'm going to type selenium dot web driver as web driver. Next, I'm going to import the service class. The service class is used to start the Chrome driver service, and it's going to be from selenium dot web driver dot Chrome dot service. I'm going to import service class. And if we want to provide headers information, then we can use an options class to do that. And we can import options class from selenium.webdriver.com. Options. And I want to import the options class. And the last library I'm going to import is the byte class. So from selenium.webdriver.common.byte. I'm going to import the byte class. And the byte class is used to locate elements by different attributes, so a uh, character type. All right, so uh, let's, let's see. I'm going to inspect the web page by right click my mouse, then click on inspect. And it's going to open the developers window. And this is on uh, uh, Firefox. If I go to the network tab, and if I refresh the page, oops. If I click on one of the uh, requests, under headers, if we go to request headers section, so here are the information that we can uh, specify in our Python script. And for this exercise, I'm going to copy the user's agent information. 
and I'll create a user agent variable and I'll assign the user agent to that variable. Now I want to create a variable called driver path and this is going to point to the driver's file. Then we're going to create a service object to initialize Chrome uh, Web Driver service. I'll name this as Chrome service is equals to service, giving the driver path. If we want to include any headers information, then we need to create an options option. And I'll name the object Chrome options is equals to options. And here we can use the add argument method to add different properties. In this case, I'm going to insert the user agent's property. So this is going to be user agent is equals to user agent. Now we can launch the browser. I'm going to reference web driver dot com for the service. I'm going to supply Chrome service and for options, uh, this is going to be Chrome options. And let me close everything. All right, so if I run this code block, and it's going to launch a Chrome browser, and let me put this right here. Now I sound to navigate to python.org website, so I can reference the browser's object that gets. Then I'll insert the website's address. And it's going to be python.org. And if I run this line here, and it's going to uh, take me to python.org on the Chrome browser. Now let's say in the search field, I want to search uh, class data type. So the first thing I want to do here is I'm going to click on the search field. Then I'm going to right click my mouse. Then I'll click on inspect. And I'll open the uh, developers page. And here, let me make that as a separate window. And let me zoom in a little bit more. All right, so let me do it again. I'm going to click on the search field, right click, inspect. And that takes me to the element that is associated to the search field and which is going to be this input field. If we look at the input field element, we have uh, different attributes, ID, name, type, row, class, and a couple others. And let's say I want to uh, use the ID attribute to locate the search field. And it's going to be navigate to a website. And this will be Initialize Chrome service. All right, so we have the ID attribute, which is this uh, ID search field uh, value. And we can use that to make a linkage to the search field. And here I want to reference browser's option. And I want to use the find element method. And this method or function takes two parameters. The first parameter takes the attribute type. And it's going to be ID. So I'm going to insert the by class followed by referencing the attribute type. Then I'm going to insert the ID value, which is going to be this ID search field key. And I'll name the output as search field. I'm going to create the search field object. 
Now I have successfully linked to the search field. So if I type something in the search field, I can clear the content using the clear method. If I want to insert my search query, I can use the send keys method followed by the query. And let's say I want to search for class data type. I can run line 20 to insert my uh, query string. And it's going to be link to search field or input. And the last step is to click on this uh, go push button. So this will be click on go button. And again, I'm going to right click on the go button and I'll click on inspect to takes me to the element that is associated to the push button. And this time I'm going to use the name attribute to locate the push button. So I'm going to insert browser that find element by, and I want to use name attribute. And the name is going to be cement. And to click on the button, I can use the da click function. And I'll run this line. And I'll click on the go button and it takes me to the results page. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.